The Criterion is a non-governmental organization of women in business and professions. A body of over two decades have made it a tradition of being relevant to happenings in the society by lending a voice to trending issues. The Criterion Annual Seminar has become a platform to educate the public on pertinent issues as it concerns the family, which is the bedrock of the society. Sunday the 10th of February 2019 provided another opportunity to tackle the menace bedeviling to society as topics were designed in line with mental health. The event started with Ayashkaru, conducted by Ajia Sururu Abdul-Majid, which she rounded up with opening prayers. <laughs> I'm very privileged. We agree. After a few recognition of guests by the uncle, the recitation of the glorious Quran was done by Mariam Sanusi. <laughs> In a welcome address, the hardworking and articulate Amira of the Criterion Lagos District, Al Haja Zikro Matisun Shudi, enumerated the scorecard of the organization, which includes the first Criterion College and the reason for the theme of the seminar, Beyond the Field of Love. I respectfully welcome you all to this year's edition of our annual seminar with the most acceptable form of greeting by saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Beyond the Field of Love was conceived considering the incessant challenges facing many marriages with its attendant consequences on morals, health, children, family, and society in general. This was closely followed with the chairman's opening remarks, where he sets the agenda for the speakers on the areas he expects to be addressed based on the expectation from all. I do hope that today's seminar will create sufficient awareness about the causes and the prevalence of domestic violence. The first lecture focused on the ripple effect of domestic violence on training the child in a multifaceted society. The erudite scholar, barista Mariam Olainka Adeyemi, Director, Office of the Public Defender, Lagos State Ministry of Justice, has read the topic looking at the various causes of domestic violence, the effect on the family, particularly the children. She made copious reference to practical examples as it relates to her practice. The United Nations has described domestic violence can be described as an intentional and persistent threatening behavior, violence or abuse, physical, psychological, sexual, financial or emotional between adults who are or have been intimate partners or family members regardless of gender or sexual disease. Now, what are these domestic violence? We have the physical abuse, the one you see physically, you know, the bruises, the aggressive behavior. We have the psychological abuse. And we have the sexual abuse as well, rape and defilement. The audience was taken through a classroom session with the presentation of Dr. Maimuna Yusuf Kadiri, a neuropsychiatrist and medical director of Pinnacle Medical Services on spousal abuse. Our articulate presentation helped the all spellbound, giving steps to take to avoid depression and a conducive home to nurture the children. When it comes to talking about spousal abuse, it's pertinent we talk about the woman who is in the middle of everything. Who is the victim? The woman. Who gets more in danger? The woman. Who makes you see that it's a generational problem? The woman. Who has the natural nurturer? The woman. So if you say we should eliminate violence against women and girls, who nurtures the boys? The woman. Father abuse is a behavioral setting. And if I should stand here talking about women, women, and I don't include the men, I'm doing injustice to them because we do understand that men are also being abused. And because they are men, they will not come. Men who want to come and talk and say that their wives are abusive. Remember that Yusuf Kadiri, 
MDR Pinnacle Medical Services. In our talks among the organizations that take counseling very seriously for young couples. And even for those that have been in marriage. So that's very, very interesting and very important. In a keynote address, Dr. Mrs. Oluya Misiogu, the medical director of Yaba Psychiatric Hospital, debunked the myth that it is not only mentally sick people that seek medical attention at the Yaba Psychiatric Hospital. Mental health issues are better prevented and nipped in the board before it is aggravated. If you see anybody coming to Yaba, don't think that they are mad. Many people come even to donate to our patients. So please, when there are issues like this, I've said, said before, not many people will tell, will, will, will go and report to the police. Who are the people who report to? In cases of spousal abuse and domestic violence, it starts from family members. When they are getting married now, Emma Dasimo, Emma Ah, Dasimo, 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 so, family members first, friends, neighbors, that you have to report to, so that they can set to certain, I'm giving an example, they may set to this is amicably. The medical checkup was powered by Fajim Medicare Foundation. Taking us through a medical school, the founder, Professor Fatima Abiyadi Abdukarim, took us through the various cancer diseases, where the council to taking regular screening series as a bid for early detection to give room for proper treatment. In Nigeria today, cancer appears to be more common in women than men. And the reason is that the five most common cancer in Nigeria, according to uh, how common they are, is the way they are listed. Number one is breast, number two is cervix, Number three is prostate, number four, colon, that's large intestine, and number five, liver. The Goodwill message provided the platform for more guests to react and comment on the topics of the seminar. I think uh, the Cardinal has always been the forefront for discussing topical issues, and I think uh, this cannot be sidelined in any way. On this note, I want to stand with the women. I want to stand with their sisters, I want to stand with their mothers, they shall never be abused. And talking of appreciation, special artistic frames were presented to the resource persons and the chairman of Geocation in the appreciation of the guests. The Naibu Lamira Ajia Mariam Saba gave the vote of thanks. Alhamdulillah, we want to thank our speakers, our mothers. Even though the notice was short, you were able to come here. We thank you, we pray allow the words you are abundant to. Uh, all your endeavors allow we make it come to pass. Inshallah. We thank our fathers too. And the chairman's closing remarks, he thanked the organizers on such relevant topic, which he promised to collaborate with other bodies like Companion to repeat this program to a larger audience. I'd like to thank the criteria for this wonderful job done. And when you see members of the audience Particularly women not having sight on, it means indeed, if I didn't do any, if I didn't do any other research anywhere about the importance of this topic, looking at the serious thing which you are trying to eat, I believe some of us might indeed be in need of this workshop over and over again. In the closing prayers, it was also an opportunity for Imam Najim Jima to lend a voice to the topic before prayers. After a resounding event, guests, organizers, and some of the resource persons expressed their impression on the event 
as they also share their takeaway from it. Um, it's fact, it's an eye opener for me. This is the first time I'm, you know, coming among and being, you know, in their midst. They are, you know, qualified eminent and distinguished people. And I think that the topic for today, which they feel that is very topical and, you know, want to trash out, is something of concern to everybody and it should be something of concern to everybody. On um, the issue of mental illness, some of us have always been thinking that it's usually a spiritual problem. But coming here, I, don't know, I was able to understand that Tainet is not majorly a spiritual attack. It's an health issue. So I've really learned a lot. The program has been a very wonderful one. It was a program that is apt, long overdue. Because if you look at our society, our environment, these are issues that confront us every day. And then the association, the criterion, has taken a bold step to look at it in details for its members and also for the public. The theme of this year's seminar is beyond the field of love. If there's love, and you say beyond the field of love, so after that is hatred. Hence, what we are seeing in the society, less than a year marriage, divorce, the increase in divorce rates, the mental health, because all this is affecting. So the society at large, that's why we come up with that theme, beyond the feel of love. And under it, we have violence on the children, the spousal abuse. So bringing all this together, it's like helping uh, up the young generation. Where do we get it wrong? How do we right the wrong? Hence this topic. As we expected it, we see much grace, much more other things we need as a woman, as a parent. We experience enough here. So we hope more of it will soon come, inshallah. I'm impressed and I enjoy it. It's a problem that is... Uh prevailing in our society, most especially in the family homes. And I think with this discussion and uh, communicate, we will be able to do a lot of, uh, it will provide a lot of solution for us and to reduce so many problems we are encountering in the family. Okay, to organize a seminar, we mentioned something like that. I'm a mental health practitioner and uh, we talk about, because all the, the things that we talk have mental health implications. And knowing the, the prevalence of mental health problems in the country, like one in five person has issues with mental health issues. That's 20% of the populace. Somebody raised the question about the issue, of the question about uh, screen about uh, what we can we can do in schools and everything and i said in this organization we can screen for mental health problems so next time i will wish them that uh, anything they are doing they try to bring in the mental health screening which will go a long way in helping the members of the society i to celebrate the criterion of women in business and professions we congratulate the team ably led by vikro Matisse Oshodi.